All right, give me about five or seven minutes and I'm gonna show you five, well, actually six amazing things that you can do with Google's AI Studio that you probably had no clue. They're gonna save you a ton of time and the best thing is Google's AI Studio is for free and you can use their most powerful Google Gemini 2.5 Pro model. All right, uh, this is gonna be fast. I'm gonna show some of you, uh, I'm gonna show some of these examples live, some I've already done. But if you go to our website at youreverydayai.com, I just did a full, it was like an hour plus long. So if you wanna know more on those, make sure to go watch that video. You can watch it on 2X, I won't be mad, but you're gonna wanna see these five, actually six use cases live. All right, but here's a quick, breakdown. So uh, number one, the use case that I think people need to be paying attention to is the long context window. So what I did inside uh, Google's AI studio for, uh, it has a million token context window. I uploaded about 400 pages of prior transcripts uh, from my uh, podcast, the Everyday AI podcast. None of the other models can handle this. Not ChatGPT, not Claude, uh, not even Google Gemini on the front end. On the back end, it did an amazing job. I asked it to go through 400 pages uh, and it did this and let's see how long it took. It took... Where's, where's the thinking? You can always go here and look at the thinking. Uh, the time isn't there anymore. Is it at the bottom? Uh, okay. Anyways, it took about two minutes and I asked it to find trends uh, based on almost 400 pages of content. And it went through, it found 10 trends. This is an amazing. So think of all those meeting notes, all these long emails, whatever you have, you can literally have hundreds of pages. No other front end large language model can handle this amount of context. You need to be using this inside Google's AI studio. Number two, we're going to do this live. I'm going to hit run. It is VO2. Uh, so uh, we might have to check back in on this in a second because normally uh, it might take a couple of seconds, but um, this should be rolling out on the front end of Google Gemini if you have a paid plan. But you'll see even right now as I switch over, I don't have access to BO2 yet. This is Google's AI, uh, you know, kind of image to video, text to video program uh, in terms of uh quality, it's off the charts, right? It is literally, it is literally uh, the leading model. I know we have, there's some competition from OpenAI, Sora, from Kling, some of the Chinese uh, AI um, options out there. It's being a little slower. So when I did it live this morning, it only took about a minute, um, or not even a minute. So it's going a little slower, but again, this is available inside um, Google's AI studio for free. Actually, it's done. All right, so it didn't take too long there, less than a minute. Uh, all I did is I uploaded a photo, which again, you can't do that and you won't be able to do that uh, inside Google's Gemini, but in AI studio, uh, you can. If you wanna go even more advanced, you can go in Google's Vertex AI and you have a lot more controls, but I mean, here we go. So uh, this is photo uh, to video inside VO2. Let's just look. Pretty impressive, right? And this is just, I started uh, with a photo uh, that I actually created uh, with Google Gemini's Imagine 3. So y'all, that right there, worth the price of admission, which is free by the way. All right, that was number two. Let's go to number three. This one might seem boring, but the utility of this is nuts. Parsing PDFs. So I did this one uh, again live if you want to see how it worked. But the thing that's really impressive in this use case, it was with this, uh, this PDF that I uploaded, but it was a wildly put together PDF, right? It's so many images, it's rasterized text and like no other, uh, aside from um, uh, Google's Gemini 2.5 and OpenAI's O3, I haven't seen any other large language models with the ability to go through uh, and, and grab the information. Like, so as an example, even when I have logos, you, you know, there's no words on it. It knew what logos it were. It, like it knew which logos those were. Uh, so it went through, it properly parsed uh, this document, transcribed it page by page. Like I said, even the logo, even photos, uh, it even uh, recreated right here, a chart that I had. Super impressive inside Google's AI Studio. Number four, multimodal blog posts. So for this uh, on the right-hand side, you're gonna wanna make sure you actually go to Gemini 2.0 
flash. Uh, and then you have the option to do images and text in the same output. Uh, so I hope that Google does update this and let that be inside Gemini 2.5 uh, flash. But for right now, still extremely impressive. And you'll see all I did here, as I said, write a blog post on the top five tourist spots in Chicago and create photos for each of them. And it literally went through and wrote this. I mean, talk about time saving use cases. I used to do this manually, right? Not writing blog posts about Chicago, but writing blog posts about a lot of things, finding photos that you, uh, you know, have usage rights on. This does it in seconds and it does a very good job. So you'll see here inline images. So for the five different uh, kind of tourist spots that I asked it for, uh, it used Google's AI image generator and created an image for all of them. Uh, pretty good. I mean, look at that. That's, that's not bad for literally one shot, wrote a whole blog post, five images in order, nuts, all right? Uh, number five, uh, the ability for Google Gemini to see your desktop. So if you go to stream and then go to share screen, I'm gonna do this one quickly. I did a, a, a more in-depth version. So hopefully you can hear on this video, I'm actually moving my mic over. We're going rapid fire here. So hopefully you'll be able to hear uh, I actually know that I have to remove this. Uh, I have to um, I have to stop that screen sharing. And now I have to share a tab uh, so you can hear the audio. So give me uh, give me just one second here. I hope that you'll be able to hear this. Uh, all right, so let's try this. And I'm gonna click share screen. And I'm gonna share just a spread. Uh, hey, Google, can you see what's on my screen right now? Yes, I can see that you have a Google Sheets document open. It looks like it is titled EDAI Last 7. Is yep. there anything specific you would like me to focus on? For sure. So um, I want to get uh, something in this H2 uh, column here. I want a percentage that shows the difference uh, between this E2 and F2. Like I want to know like it did it go up or down and by what percentage so what's the formula that i would put there okay here's the formula you can use in cell h2 to calculate the percentage change between cells f2 and e2 equals f2 e2 slash e2 does that make sense all right yeah give me a second i'm gonna try it out here so i'm putting the formula in I'm clicking enter. Great. It did it. So how can I change this to a percentage? Right now it's decimal. To change the format to a percentage, select the cell and then click the format menu at the top. Then select number and then select percent. Will that work? Cool. That worked. Thanks. You're welcome. Is there anything else I can help you with regarding your spreadsheet? That's it. All right, so that was number five. We got one more. This was technically a uh, bonus. So again, give me a second here. I'm gonna share my screen. And for this one, I'm just going to uh, describe uh, what we did here. So uh, what we did here for this one, a lot of people don't know this. Well, Google's AI Studio can see your videos. Okay, so if you go into a prompt and you click uh, you know, YouTube video as an example, uh, it can actually see the video. So this is different. You've probably used a handful, maybe dozens of tools that can summarize YouTube videos uh, based on the transcript. This is way different, way better, way more impressive. So, uh, you know, I did the first part. So I just uploaded a video that I did uh, on Notebook LM. And I said, hey, you know, bullet, bullet point the steps on how to use Notebook LM. It went through and did that. And you might be saying, okay, that's not very impressive. Uh, you know, there's dozens of uh, AI tools that can do that. It pulls the transcript and, you know, summarizes it, or, you know, you can talk to a video transcript. Here's the difference. Google's AI Studio can see the actual video. So as an example, uh, I said, Describe the person in this video. This has nothing to do with the transcript. It went through and it said, appearance, he's an adult male, appearing to be Caucasian, likely in his 30s or early 40s. Describe my hair, the shirt I was using. All, like even, y'all, look at this. Even my demeanor. It said, uh, he appears engaged and expressive as he talks, looking directly toward the camera viewer. He smiles and shows enthusiasm while discussing the topic. Y'all, that is bonkers. Think of all the use cases. You can upload, uh, you know, videos and it's literally Google will watch. Even if there's no 
words it can see and think of all the ways, different ways you can use Google AI Studio to classify the information. Uh, you can, you know, essentially go up here, uh, put in certain system instructions. Uh, you can enable, um, you know, structured outputs. So, you know, you could literally have Google AI Studio do the job of a human, right? Like, so think. It can literally see things, uh, use its large language model, Gemini 2.5 Pro, uh, to understand what is going on in the video and then give you uh, classified uh, or, or classification of what's happening as well as structured outputs. And oh, not even all that, but you can ground all this in Google search. So you don't even necessarily have to worry about a knowledge cutoff. It is wild y'all so if you haven't used google ai studio you need to go check it out it's literally free i think it is one of the most underrated ai tools out there and i use them all it's really good you got to go check it out if you want more if you want to know more uh, i did a full video on this so you can just go to your everyday ai.com uh, that is uh the website uh, for your everyday AI. Uh, you can just go to episodes and then click that one right there, episode 514. I'll make sure to leave the link in the description. So I hope this was helpful. If so, please subscribe to this channel, but also go subscribe to our newsletter at youreverydayai.com. All right, I hope this is helpful. Maybe I'll get back making more consistent short tutorials, but had to drop this one. All right, I'll see you later.